A new flight training simulator was unveiled today at Wright Patterson Air Force Base. It's designed to save money at a time when the base is feeling the effects of sequestration. Jordan Burgess examines why money, though, isn't all that's being saved. And it's an example of what's working in the Miami Valley. Back on the news a little bit. Flying at 20,000 feet. You see the runway in front of us? I do. While only 10 feet off the ground. I'm gonna miss the runway. The flights may be fake. Ah. Uh, we bounced a little bit. But officials tell us the savings are real. Payback we are gonna get is huge. The C 17 simulator unveiled at Wright Patterson Air Force Base is expected to save nearly $1 million a year for the 445th airlift wing. Just in travel cost. No longer will base pilots and others have to go to Mississippi to get the simulator training. It's much more efficient to, uh, to have a simulator at your own location. But the savings go beyond just dollars. It does an amazing job of preparing crews uh, to safely execute their missions out there in the actual aircraft. In the simulator, you can fly in bad weather or with an engine on fire. You don't come here for fun. The idea is that 120 crew members who will use this will leave prepared for anything. Simulators are actually able to practice emergency procedures and stuff that would be totally unsafe to try and do in the aircraft. The simulator's unveiling also completes the two year process of making Wright Patterson home to nine C 17s. There was a time when we were concerned whether or not we would have an airlift mission here in Dayton, Ohio, at Wright Patterson Air Force Base. Training on the simulator started in June. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.